Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we have the Rhino Rack Recovery Track Carrier. This is designed for your Pioneer platforms. We'll talk about how to use it and how to install it and why you might need it right here at eTrailer. There are a lot of different brackets where you can carry around your recovery boards or your recovery tracks. But this one is specifically designed for your Pioneer platform. That way you can move it out of the way and then take full advantage of your platform space. And that way you can use your platform for all the other important things for your adventure, like your jerry cans, your kayaks, and your gear. So let's take a look at this bracket. So we have the Max Trax recovery board, which this actually works really, really well with. It's designed to work with a specific mounting points on the board. This fits into the tracks of your Pioneer platform and the maximum number of boards you can carry with this is going to be two boards. You can carry three or four, but you are going to need a separate part to support the side rail. The brackets extend four pins and hand knobs. So these are used to secure your recovery track. It is important to secure this properly and follow the measurements given. That way you can have a secure fit on your platform rack. Notice the shape and angle of the brackets. This makes sure that your recovery boards are at a 75 degree angle and that you have the treads facing out. And with the knobs off, you still have that support to make it easier to take the boards on or off. Now, keep in mind that if you have this on a trailer, it's going to be a bit of a higher reach versus if you had your platform on your car, but hopefully this helps you out with planning things out. For this specific bracket, this is going to require some certain tools. So I have a single 10 millimeter wrench, but I also have two 17 millimeter wrenches. So one of them is a socket wrench and the other one is a box wrench. So grab those and let's get started. For this kit, we are going to set up the pins. Since they have a long thread, it's a lot easier to do this before your bracket is on your trailer or on your platform. Now we have a bolt, we have a split washer, and then we have a nut. So first put the split washer on the bolt. Now put the bolt through the bracket. Notice that the split washer is facing the track side. And then we're going to get the nut and that's gonna go over it to secure it. Use your two 17 millimeter wrenches to fully secure. Now you're gonna need your 10 millimeter wrench for the nuts and bolts for the track system. You're gonna need either six or four of these depending on where you're going to mount your brackets. Let's go take a look. You have three options for where you're going to mount your bracket. And it also depends on if you have a Pioneer platform or are you using crossbars. So the first option is off the side of the platform. The second option is off the rails of the platform. That's gonna be like your front or your back. And then the third option is off of your crossbars. Ideally, whichever of those options, you want your mounting points to be 35 inches apart so that it can fit within the max tracks. Now, what if you don't have exactly 35 inches apart for your crossbar spread or your space? That's okay. You do have a range of 31 inches and a third, all the way up to 38 inches and a half. If you measure center to center from your crossbar, you can still fit the brackets in there. The side of our platform rack has the slat spaced 28 inches apart. So this is not going to fit off the side. We're going to have to go for the front or the back. If your bracket was off the side or on crossbars, you can put your bolts vertically. So if it was on crossbars, you can utilize the tracks within the bracket to get you as close to that 35 inch range that you want. If it's off the back or the front, you will be mounting your bolts horizontally and you have the different levels too to pick and choose. That way if you need your bracket to be further away from your platform rack, you can use it for this point or you can come in close to. It does depend on how large the boards are and if you have lights or other accessories. 
You have two options here. One option is to put the track nut in and slide it through and then you can attach it. Now for the Pioneer platform, it's kind of deep so it's hard to reach the nut with the bolts. So for the platform, I recommend threading the bolt onto at least one spot of the track nut first and that way you can slide the entire system through. Slide the brackets around until you reach your desired distance apart. Remember you're centering it on the bolts for your accurate measurement. Now you get to tighten it down. Now double check your brackets. Make sure that both of them are secure on your platform. Replace all the accessories that you had to take off to install the brackets. And that's it for the install. You're now ready to load up your recovery boards and go. Hopefully this video helped you out with seeing how to install those brackets and if those brackets are the right ones for you. Just remember that depending on where you want your recovery boards, you may want some different brackets. These brackets are great for keeping the boards out of the way, but also available for when you need them. They do need to be used on the Pioneer platform rack though. That's really what they're designed for. And they're really designed for the Max Trax recovery board. While you can use these brackets with other boards if needed, you are going to have to figure out what measurements work. But hopefully my install video helps show how to get those measurements and how to install. So that way, no matter what boards you're carrying it around on and no matter what adventures you're going on, you can see if this is gonna be the best fit for you.